Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 14, and this is war number 12. It's the last war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Reign of Assassins. So I've already scouted out my path, and I have chosen to go in with my standard team. So out goes Guillotine 2099. I used her in the last war. Uh, and she did great. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. So I'm the first one in uh, for my side. Uh, so, of course, I'm not going to have enough energy uh, to get to the second fight here. They did not place a defender on that first node, which is common. And you'll notice that that defender that I'm going to be fighting in a moment is Electro. Now, there was a time where I was so so annoyed seeing electros because i figured that they were doing that just to you know kind of bleed you dry and uh on this path starburst since my gladiator hulk is going to have face me active as you see right there just look at this he's not going to be taking much of that damage uh back and of course this electro is not awakened so less damage, but it wouldn't have made a difference. You can see how the health bar is flickering. That's because he's healing up most of the damage he's taking back. So down goes Electro. Quick, smooth, and easy. All right, so uh, as usual, once I complete this particular uh, fight, I wait until my alliance mates clear out this first node here. Uh, I don't even know what to call him. Is he a mini boss? Not really. Um, first linked boss. But anyway, uh, they got him down and we're on to section two. And in section two, I'm trying to remember who I had to fight here. Yeah, there was no, there was no defender on that first node. And so we've got Quake for the second one. And she can sometimes be annoying. Um, I usually don't have any problem with her. Uh, but every once in a while, she can really, really get you. You don't want to fight in a way that is going to promote her to use her heavy. Uh, you don't want those stacks on you. Even one can spell disaster. All right, so I went in with Blade. Uh, I know some people don't think Blade is good enough to rank anymore, uh, but I still like Blade. And as you can see, I bring him every war that I can. All right, and you see I got those three stacks on me. And you see, that's why I fired off that special. I actually got lucky, uh, caught her coming in because I was gonna have to fire the special off anyway or else I was gonna get stunned and wrecked. And so I figured better to, you know, chance it and we got her. So one little mistake and I didn't evade fast enough and got those stacks on me. And that could have been it. Now, as you can see, we've got this Annihilus and he's cleared and nobody really wants to fight him. And this is the last war of the season. And I will be very happy. That's what I was thinking at the time uh, for this war to be over. So uh, I went ahead and, you know, boosted up. Sometimes when I'm fighting a Nihilist, I get lucky. And I get a good start. If you get a bad start, it's very easy to get put on the defensive and just get wrecked. You get trapped in that corner and it's, it's not pretty. If you've ever fought an Nihilist and had that happen, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so I went in with, again, Blade. Now, if I had Ghost Rider, then this fight would be much easier, but I don't have Ghost Rider. Uh, so look at this. I'm back in the corner and I'm just like, wow, that went bad real fast. 
but I fired off that special one, but he's not letting me out this corner. Thankfully, he's running uh, suicides. And just look at this. I'm in the corner. I fought my way out, though. And we're bleeding him, bleeding him. He's regenerating a little bit, but that's okay. We got him. And down he goes. That was one ugly fight. But I was victorious. I remained standing at the end of the fight. One shot, all that matters. All right, so now we've got Spider-Gwen. Now, Spider-Gwen got a recent rework, and she is a very annoying defender now. At first, it was hard to evade her special one. We weren't used to her having a special one that you really needed to evade, um, but I've learned to evade her special one. And with Starkey here, all I'm doing, you know, I'm building up poise charges, just sniping every once in a while to keep her at a little bit of a distance. I don't want to get trapped in the corner if I can help it. And you see I'm getting dangerously close. And so I'm fighting out. Uh, they have the defense dodge tactic. So on top of her already, you know, high evade, she's going to be evading even more since she's small. Uh, but you can see I evaded that. And you see she's just evading like crazy. So you never want to do a full five hit combo in this situation and you saw what I was doing you know one hit back, uh, dash back one hit maybe two but that's you know somewhat risky but we got her down so now we're on to the last section here and I'm looking around and I'm like well I want to fight that domino Starkey is good against that domino and I'm not sure at this point. It looks like Nick Fury is on his, you know, real life. The real Nick Fury looks like he's out. And I'm like, okay, well, let's see if we can just go ahead and finish him off. And then we can move on to that domino. So I went ahead and uh, healed up a little bit. Uh, we used to have a rule. Uh, when we were Platinum 1, the rule was you never went into a fight with uh, less than, I believe, 80% health. And you always boosted up. That was the rule. All right, so here we go. He fired off that heavy, which was fortunate. So I went right on in. Thanks to the blade synergy, I'm hitting hard right out the gate. But now I'm building up some poise charges. I just couldn't pass up that opening all right and here we go he's unblockable but i got him. all right so we were able to finish him off nick fury can be a real pain at times let me tell you all right so now i'm gonna go after that domino i certainly don't want to deal with that power gain uh node up there it just doesn't suit my personality you have to fight at a slower pace. You can't be as aggressive as I like to play, so it's very distressing to me. And when I do fight it and I have to slow down, I hate it. And often I'll rush, push him to a special I didn't want to push him to and get wrecked. All right, so here I am boosting up yet again for this final war. And at this point, I'm thinking, may as well use them. I don't really boost up in Alliance Quest. Uh, and I'll be able to replenish this when the seasons, you know, are over. So here we are. Remember, the defense uh, tactic is still dodge. And she is a small champion. So in addition to her regular evading when she gets lucky, she's just going to evade at any time. So you see here, I'm taking it to her. I remember all the pain she has caused me in the past. That was a little risky there that I fought. I did like a two hit combo and boom, she went down. I did a lot of risky moves there, uh, but it panned out. I was ready to evade. I was watching and ready. If she evaded, I was gonna swipe back. All right, so 
I'm thinking, all right, we should be good. You know, my blade has put in some work. He's hurt. He's tired. But no, not done yet. So this is an excerpt from my live stream. And if you have been on the live stream while this was happening, you know how irritated I get because I have to stop doing my arena and come over here and do this. I don't like it. You see how much time is left. Now we could have finished earlier, but everyone has something to do. So everyone has something to do. So they're not able to put in the time. They're not able to uh, move quickly. Then during the time that I have something to do, which I do every day at the same time, now everybody is screaming, oh man, you've got Blade. Um, he's a great counter for this thing. We need you to come in and help uh, fight this blade, uh, this uh, thing. You know, we only got a little bit of time left. And I'm just like, really, really? So uh, I'm really happy for this season to be over. So once again, I am boosting up. I don't know how I'm going to do against this thing. Uh, if I get trapped in the corner, then it'll be a bad day. And of course, I'm not in a good frame of mind. You know, I'm, I was in the middle of my arena grind, uh, streaming it. And now I'm having to stop that. I am a little OCD about that sort of thing. So this is very distressing to me to have to stop one task that I'm doing and go to another one has always irritated me. Uh, and I avoided it whenever possible. You know, I've had to do it uh, in my career. Um, I've had to multitask, all that good stuff. But my preference, whenever possible, I would like to complete one task before moving on to the next task. So I'm here pretty much gritting my teeth. Uh, again, if you were on this live stream, you already know uh, how I felt about it because I went on at length while I was doing this because um, it, it really irritated me. And again, uh, I'm using these boosts up because why not? Uh, I don't use them anywhere else. And so at this point, I was asking uh, what the uh, chat thought I should uh, use for a three minute, one of the three minute boosts. And they were like, well, probably the uh, invulnerability. All right. So I went back in. I didn't want to just use it like that. Uh, and at this point, I'm showing everybody uh, what I've got available. And I wanted to make sure you see that I have uh, the uh, skill almost expiring. You know, got another day or so, but... If I don't use it here, chances are I'm not going to use it in a day or so and it would expire. And I wanted to see which one it was so that I would know which one to use here. You know, the 150 or the 200. All right. So um, we went ahead and did that one. And we also used the other one that uh, I saw there. Why not? Uh, I didn't want to use the big boy boost because... I didn't want to trigger things uh, protection, all right? And uh, I didn't want anybody jumping in. I shouldn't have had to worry about that at all. Nobody was about to go after this thing this late in the game. They were all waiting for me. And so uh, the chat said, invulnerability boost. I went, all right, um, we're all boosted up. Let's hit it and let's start the fight. And I have fought Thing before with Blade. He is a fine counter. There are better counters uh, to this thing. I don't know if anyone else brought uh, one of the better counters. Apparently not. Or if they did, they weren't here. 
uh, busy doing whatever it is they had to do. All right, so I'm just doing the best that I can here. And again, not in the best frame of mind uh, to be fighting this thing, but basically what you wanna do, in case you don't know how to fight thing, you wanna manage those rock charges. That's what it's about. Uh, you also don't wanna get trapped in the corner. All right, so at this point, I'm dangerously close. I fired that off and I got lucky and he was right at 15. All right, we got him back to 15 and now you wanna bait out that special one, but I'm against the corner. And now I'm in trouble. Okay, see that indestructible? All right, so now I'm in trouble here. And I don't wanna hit him past 15, all right? And I'm back in the corner again. And so I'm just firing this off. And you see, I pushed him past it, and that's what triggered his unstoppable. In the corner again, I fired off that special one, but it's all over okay so that's how it can go i've had some fights where i fought much better than that uh, again not in a good frame of mind uh to be doing this fight just wanted it over and i'm like well i know nobody else is going to jump in here so uh may as well revive him and go back in uh, i could have used starkey i could have used uh, gladiator hulk but honestly didn't feel like it uh I wanted to use blade. Let's just finish it up. Uh, this time, you know, I looked at, cause I wanted to see if my invulnerability was still there, uh, and how much time I had left. And I was not about to heal all the way back up. Not this time. Okay. Just enough used up all of my potions. I'll restock them, uh, during the season. But I mean, during the uh, off season. So at this point, I'm just like, all right, you're going down thing. This is ridiculous. I know how to fight you. I'm not going to let you get me in that corner again. All right. So I'm being aggressive. I'm pushing him. He fired off his special, but I'm going to keep him as far to the right as possible. Now you see here, he's almost at 15. So I parried. Even though he is stun immune, the parry still tried to apply a bleed, which reduced his rock charges. That's one of the things that makes Blade so good. You can manage the uh, rock charges better. So here we go. I'm going to push him to 15. And now I'm going to bait out that special too, so that he can use up all of them. See, he's being a little stingy. There we go. And now we're continuing on. Everything is going much better than it was before. And at this point, I know I've got him. I'm just waiting for my time to finish him off. So that is going to do it for uh, that boss fight. A bit salty, a bit tilted, but we did manage to get him down. And we still had an attack bonus. So... You know, not the worst that it could be. All right. So now we're going to find out how we did in this war. And as a surprise to no one, we lost this war as well. Uh, I don't know how it's going to be next season. Uh, I know things are changing. We've already swapped out a few people. So perhaps next war season will be back in platinum, but we're going to take a vote and see who wants to even be in platinum. Because it seems like this season you had some people trying and you had some people that just weren't trying. They didn't care. Uh, gold rewards were just fine. So we're going to find out what we're going to be doing uh, before next season. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.